What's up, everybody? Justin Couts here. Um, this is kind of a late night one for you guys. I wanted to bust this out so I can get it to you. VA loans your path to home ownership and credit scores. Um, if this is uh, all about veterans and what you guys need to do uh, to obtain home ownership with a VA loan, um, the VA mortgage for veterans, it's only for veterans or active duty or Purple Heart or surviving spouse. Um, at JK Mortgage, we pride ourselves on our closings, you know, on time and everything and, and efficient and less conditions, not only on regular loans, but VA loans as well. We can close them just as fast. Um, you know, the path to home ownership can be brutal for some buyers with less than perfect credit scores. Um, veterans, buyers, people that are looking for a mortgage with a low credit score is what I mean. If there's any loan that's out there that's going to allow a lower credit score with a minimum to no down payment, it is going to be the most lenient one is going to be the VA loan. Scores down to a minimum um, of 500. Um, it's the VA loan is the best loan on the planet. So. If you're thinking, hey, I've got a lower score, I had a collection or something like that, I heard that VA loans, you need really good credit. That is not true. You need to not take, you know, for grant, homeownership for granted. Nobody does right now. Get the loan that you deserve. If you have really good credit, um, that's, just a, that's just a great thing. It's just gonna be, we're gonna go fly right through, but down to scores of 500. You need two years job history. Um, or source of income, other source of income. So the best thing that a VA buyer can do is find a mortgage broker or mortgage lender that they trust, who's an expert on VA loans and home ownership. So the next item is to get a tri-merge credit report. It's three scores. That's the one that can be ran inside the Fannie Mae and the Freddie Mac. You need to find out what your score is and if there's anything you can do to get it higher higher the better may not make any sense but there's something called rapid rescores if you were to pay a credit card down that kind of thing you can get your score up in just a couple days and we can tell what it would be through the simulator um, yeah veterans must adhere to the same guidelines as uh, credit guidelines as <clears throat> um, for the VA loan but anybody that's if you compare the same rate interest rate as a conventional or FHA, same as VA, so the terms are the same, same loan amount, everything. The VA is always going to qualify for higher because there is a couple reasons for that. So there's a couple reasons that the VA buyer will qualify for more of a VA home loan. If you took the same terms, put them next to a conventional and an FHA and a V over here, so $500,000 loan on all of them, rate of 5% on all of them, the VA will always allow a higher debt to income ratio because they allow sometimes up to 70%. FHA is a max of 56.9 and, and conventional is a max of 50. So that is huge right there, debt ratio alone. Also, uh, you know, the rates are better than, than conventional period and uh, there's no mortgage insurance with zero down, which that could be hundreds, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars a month, depending on the uh, size of the loan, if VA made you have mortgage insurance, but they don't. So there are major reasons that they, it's 20% more than conventional, but then they don't even have mortgage insurance either, so it's probably even more than 20%. It's unreal, and most real estate agents don't, um, know how uh, how powerful the VA financing is um, a lot of buyers don't understand how powerful it is either most buyers don't understand that ratio they just want it done but um, agents you know if you're out there you are in a jumbo market you can do up to four million and of a loan amount, you know, zero down. So you've got people out there that are retired or have really good jobs or maybe they've got a lot of rental income. If they're going to live in that property, they should be using their VA loan. I talk to older gentlemen all the time, you know, 70s, 80s, and they're like, son, I, I used my VA loan back in Kentucky when I was, you know, 18 years old. And me and Betsy Lou, you know, God rest her soul. 
Um, we bought that house together and that's what we used our, we don't, why would we use the VA again when I can get a jumbo loan? And it's like, well, there's so many advantages to the VA. <clears throat> you know, once you, you got that high debt ratio, um, up to 70%, you've got no mortgage insurance, you've got rates lower than conventional, you've got interest rate reduction, EARL loan available uh, for refinance over and over if it makes sense and you can save a certain amount of money. I believe it's a half a percent now. You have to save on the rate um, to do an EARL, but you need no appraisal. They don't even look. It doesn't matter if your value dropped to nothing. They, you know, As long as it appears like there's no catastrophe, natural, ha- you know, catastrophe or anything like that, like a tornado or they're going to be fine with it and you don't have to worry about, you know, retiring and having less income kind of thing. It's, as long as you have a source of income, they're just going to verify that it's there. Like if you're a teacher, you're a teacher they're going to call and verify your job or if you're social security, you, you, you know, you just show, you don't even need to on retired. So, um, they're just going to make sure you've got your certificate of eligibility, your COE, which we or your mortgage lender can pull for you if you can't do it on the web LG site. Um, what else do I have for you? Um, let's see. So we actually, VA loans, we can close them as soon as eight to 10 days, even with a transferred appraisal. Uh, we can do those um, in eight to 10 days. And we encourage 14 to 21 day escrows on our um on our pre-approvals so um, some sellers you know uh, may be more attracted to conventional loans than a VA loan but it's our job we are advocates for the VA and veterans to show sellers and listing agents how powerful a VA pre-approval really is especially the way we do it with the JSK mortgage pre-approval that's your fancy most beautiful pre-approval on the front with details stating how why you're a powerful powerful borrower and why they should accept your offer and why we can close fast and how we communicate and a picture of their house and we make it gorgeous and then the next page is the first page of your credit report no social shown of course but showing those those beautiful scores the next page is page three is um The first page of the AUS, the Fannie Mae approval, showing that we did our due diligence. We even sometimes do the UWM Bolt approval. I mean, there's so much stuff. We'll throw some pictures in there. And I did a house on Balboa and I threw in like the the bio from the house, like the description over a beautiful photo in Canva. And, you know, it's just totally branded and, and we go above and beyond. And that might seem like, oh, well, that's all, all that is. Well, we're giving more information and we're letting the sellers know why we can close quickly, that we're doing our due diligence, that we communicate well, and that um, we're showing them that you and us are the best offer um, on the table. So, But uh, VA Loans, your path to home ownership, any credit scores, welcome video, um, VA Loans, home ownership, credit scores, veterans, mortgage, Justin with JK Mortgage, Thank you for watching. Let's go.